Life Audio. Welcome to Crosswalk Devotional. We're glad to have you listening with us. Today's topic is compassion. We'll return with the devotional after a brief message from one of our sponsors. There's no better way to start your day than spending time in God's Word and in prayer. Don't know where to start? We have a free daily prayer podcast created to help you do just that. The Your Daily Prayer podcast delivers a thoughtful devotional and timely prayer to you seven days a week. Gain inspiration, faith, and encouragement with daily messages in 10 minutes or less. To start listening now, search Your Daily Prayer on your favorite podcast app or visit lifeaudio.com. The Historical Jesus Podcast is the sweeping saga of the life and times of Galilean Jesus of Nazareth, as well as the faith, religion, and church founded to honor and disseminate His acts and teachings. Join me, Mark Vinette, on this fascinating journey through time, exploring the many great works of Christian theology, literature, architecture, music, and art inspired by the words and deeds of Jesus Christ. Be More Compassionate Written and read by Mary Sutherland Galatians 6 2 says, Share each other's troubles and problems, and in this way, obey the law of Christ. I was worried about our daughter. Jana has a severe case of endometriosis. She is often in so much pain that her husband finds her curled up in a ball on her bathroom floor. Her OBGYN is beginning to talk with her about having a hysterectomy, but she is only 35. So I struggle with worrying about her instead of trusting God to care for her. But I'm trying. For weeks, Dana has had severe pain in her shoulder. It radiates under her arm into her upper back. She's tried just about everything. Hot showers and baths, massage therapy, stretches, her husband trying to work out the knots with a handheld massager, using a TENS unit, but nothing has worked. So finally, Her doctor prescribed physical therapy. Now, I know physical therapy is usually painful. I've had to go through it after shoulder surgery for my back, which is riddled with arthritis, scoliosis, degenerative disc disease, and stenosis. And then there are my knees, which are bone on bone, they tell me. Now, other than those issues, nothing hurts. But the fact is that physical therapy is usually painful. Now, I know it is for my good, but it still hurts. I didn't tell Dana that that therapy can be painful because I didn't want her to worry. It just maybe it wouldn't be so excruciating for her. I was wrong. She called me in tears, describing all of the horrible things they did to her. Now, Dana's youngest son, Hudson, is a walking heart. He knows my back always hurts. So, Whenever I am with him, he eventually stands beside me and lightly rubs my back. I have to admit, his love does lessen the pain. He especially doesn't like it when anyone hurts his mom, doctors included. So, when Dana picked the boys up from school, Hudson wanted to know every detail about what they had done to her. Hudson adores Dana, and they have the most precious relationship. When Dana described the therapy she had just experienced, she said Hudson's eyes got bigger and bigger. Then came the question that undid him. Mom, where did they do those things to you? When Dana lightly touched the places on HUD where she had just gone through so many painful therapies, including dry needles, inserting a needle into the trigger points, and then turning on the electric current, Hudson started crying. I said, honey... Did you poke him hard when you were describing the therapy? She said, no, Mom. I barely touched the spots where I was in pain. He just started crying because someone had hurt his mom, and he couldn't stand it. I had just been schooled in the true meaning of compassion by my 10-year-old grandson. 
Hudson reminds me of the Good Samaritan, with whom I have a love-hate relationship. The Samaritan decided to use his pain to help someone else who had been wounded. Now, the Samaritan had experienced pain in his own life. He could have surrendered to that pain, as so many people do, but he made a different choice. You see, all Jews hated all Samaritans. It was just a fact. There was no logical reason for this Samaritan to change his plans, spend his money to help this enemy, or as I like to call difficult people, sandpaper people in need. But I've learned that compassion doesn't look for boundaries and restrictions or reasons not to act. It pursues every opportunity to help those in need. Intersecting faith and life. I can only imagine the thoughts running through the Samaritan's mind. He had a choice to make, just like we do. Whenever we see someone hurting or in need, we choose to help them or turn and walk away. We must change the way we think. Why? Because choosing not to help the wounded ones who cross our paths every day contradicts everything Jesus teaches. The hard to love, obnoxious people who drive us crazy didn't cross our path by accident. Instead, God orchestrated that meeting to allow us to make the same choice the Good Samaritan made. The real question then becomes, Are we willing to put aside our comfort to help someone in pain? Are we ready to be a good Samaritan to the sandpaper people in our lives? If you want to do some further reading, go back and read the story of the Good Samaritan in Luke 10, 25 through 37 with a new mindset of compassion. Read Isaiah 54, 10 and Isaiah 63, 7 and celebrate that your God is filled with compassion. Then consider memorizing one of these verses. You will be amazed how God will use his truths in your life to be more compassionate. The Crosswalk Devotional is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, Please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Hey everybody, I'm Dale. And I'm Tamara. We're hosts of the Kainos Project podcast. Where we help you tackle ancient Christian truths in everyday settings. To learn more and subscribe, go to lifeaudio.com.